Hello there, Stutopian Studios. Yeah, um, another like Optimus Prime. This is kind of unexpected since I literally just made um, a Lego, a Lego animated Optimus Prime. Focus. Okay. So yeah, I might also start doing Rise of the Beast builds too, because I realized the only Rise of the Beast build I ever really did was that Battle Force series Scourge, which is, just happens to be really accurate and really cool. Still kind of holds up, maybe. I could update it, but I'm not going to. Maybe in this scale. But yeah, the, the bed is really clean. I really like this alt mode, and honestly, I don't think there are any compromises in either modes, and the head is actually completely hidden in this vehicle mode, which is, uh, you know, that's probably a first on any of my LEGO Transformers, and I, this is just, uh, my opinion, my best LEGO Transformer yet. Stud length. I still haven't done a video on mini LEGO Stealth Bumblebee, but I'm, I'm not making any promises. I forgot to mention this, but uh, there is technically weapon storage. And of course, Lego, Walter, and Jesse. Now for the super epic transformation. By the way, I think this is better than the Rise of the Beast Studio series. I mean, I mean in accuracy, but actually it doesn't have the stripe. But we're going to ignore that. And, well... Okay, maybe they're like the same. I don't know. I'm just gonna get into the transformation. You don't think it's better, and you don't think it's better. If you think it's better, then you think it's better. It's yeah. And then it, we're just gonna. That's not parts forming. Just can rotate up. They just happen to fall off. And the blue section rotates up. That's why it juts out at the sides a little bit. Um, Detach this piece that connects everything. Kind of hard to detach. It honestly also doesn't matter which side it gets detached on. It just needs to get detached. Then rotate it up. Uh, don't unfocus on me, please. My camera really likes to unfocus. Uh, it's going to do one arm at a time. Rotate that section out, rotate the shoulder out, just like any basic uh, G1 style Optimus Prime. And that is basically the arm done. Then we're just going to rotate it to the back. Uh, ooh, whoops. Whoops. whoop de doo whoop de doo Okay. Rotate this entire trailer section down. Okay, wow. Just pop off. Yeah, rotate that down. Uh, rotate these. Rotate the wheel sections up. This is base. This is my basic Transformers, Lego Transformers Optimus uh, truck bed transformation. Now rotate the heel spurs back. And rotate the cheese slope so that it completes the look of his foot. And those are his legs transformed and he has the lights on his knee pads. Uh, hold on, I'm going to heighten the camera. Alright, there you have that. Oh, it's unfocusing again. Alright. Keep those little wheels up. And as you can see, he has the entire truck on his back. We're going to fix that really quick. Swivel this around. Hopefully his head... Well, yeah, lift his headpiece up first. So it doesn't pop off like it just did. And then... Oh... Uh, I changed the piece from the Creo piece for some reason. You needed to slide it out of there, so. I'm just gonna pretend that the Creo piece is still there, like I used on the Beast Hunters Optimus. I'm just gonna pretend it's still there. Or just have, uh, or just have rounded pieces like this in red on on here. Just, just swivel out of the way, it doesn't really matter. 
uh, basically transform the same either way. And as the Studio Series does, it's my favorite part of the transformation. Swivel that up, fills in his back, uh, gets rid of that kibble on his waist, and it has accurate back detail. I didn't, there wasn't enough clearance in truck mode to add the, the spinal column, so that's what it looks like. And I actually just readjusted the little back uh, stud details because I thought that would look more accurate. I'm really bummed out I wasn't able to get the spinal column detail, but you know, he still looks really good. And then, you know, just put his arms down. How did it pop out like that? It's a pin. Uh, okay, we're just we're just gonna do stuff. And here's my Lego Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime in robot mode. And I really think I did a very nice job with this figure overall. Uh, you know, the hips are sway a little bit. I'll just stand it straight so it doesn't do that. Um, his proportions, I got, uh, really nice. Uh, maybe his head could be a bit bigger, but I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't have enough clearance, but I'm not gonna redo it. And I think it would just look better like this. And, uh, and all the colors may not be in the right place, but I think... I think it's still, well, not in the right place. It's like the colors sometimes aren't really there. And, uh, but, but I still think this is pretty recognizable as uh, at least a live action uh, Optimus Prime. And to me, I can see this mainly because of his chest area and just like know that this is Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. I mean, it could also work as a Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime. Because, you know, all the color details aren't really. 100% accurate, but I did try and I still do think I did a really nice job. For articulation, his arms are on ball joints, his shoulders are on ball joints, his arms can do the full 360 swivel, full elbow bend forward, a little bit over 90, and a little bit back, but not all the way. His head can swivel, but you know, his jaw is just left in place due to how it's built. You can look up and down. Uh, that looks weird though. And he kind of has a uh, a double waist bend, but this is the actual waist bend, and it goes the full 360. Or oh, that yeah, I said waist bend. That's not really a waist bend. The waist swivel. Uh, his hips forward that far, back that far. Uh, get his arms out the way or just move it to the side up really far basically as far as possible but you can't really carry the weight so yeah uh, he's got a 90 degree bend at the knee yeah no forward his feet can go back that far and up uh, that far he also has the he also has the heel articulation, but honestly, that's that's not it's not really uh, it's not really something. And his uh, uh, due to the the transformation, he has a butterfly joint. So yeah, he can do that, and he can do the superhero landing slash he is not alone pose. During the final battle, let me demonstrate it real quick. This is my attempt at recreating the pose. It's... Oh, oh it was not this fragile. The only fragile part on this figure really are the shoulders because of the way they're built. They can't really be stabilized. Man, these hips are kind of weak. Yeah, kind of weak. They're, they're not that weak. I mean, it's like... It, it, it's an exaggeration or maybe maybe sarcasm. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you his weapons So previously I showed you is uh, his arm gun It literally just tabs into his arm and He pretends that he's that is coming out of his arm, but he's he's really just holding it like a normal gun uh, Maybe to have it more streamlined with his arm 
would look better like this. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Let me do something. So I saw the tab, um, or the the stud underneath the gun. Decided to add this piece right here, which is basically Mini Lego Transformers Prime Rise of the Mini Lego Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Optimus's arm. And it's kind of attached it, and uh, now it looks like it's actually coming out of his arm, which is really cool. And I did build his axe, so here it is. It's basically the animated axe, just reskinned. And there you go. That's uh, Rise of the Beast Optimus, all armored up, well, armored up, oh, uh, weaponized, I guess. And so there you go. Stud scale says he's about 13 to 14 studs tall. Mini figures. And here are the final comparisons. And if you're wondering, that Optimus figure is basically core class scale. So that's basically core class scaling. So yeah, and that's the end of this video. We'll see you next time.